Yo guys, welcome back to the channel. And Arc System Works a couple of days ago released quite a lengthy trailer for the new Guilty Gear Strive. Uh, apparently it goes through some, some uh, game modes, so I'm quite interested to see what's here, see what changes they've made since I got a chance to play the Alpha way back last year. Uh, it's one of the games I'm probably most looking forward to on the fighting game side of things. Um, having played it, I thought it played great. There was a few little things which I've seen in the news updates, what they brought out, what they've been changing from the feedback, what they got from the fans, which is great. Uh, so yeah, let's jump in, see what this trailer's all about. Okie dokie. A cornerstone of the fighting game genre oh, with over 20 stone. years of history and many tournaments worldwide, the Guilty Gear series. Known all over the world for its cutting-edge 3D anime visuals and hard rock soundtrack that gets your heart pounding during intense battles. Rocking it out there, look. The latest all-new entry to the acclaimed series, Guilty Gear Strive, creates a new kind of fighting game, fun for more players than ever before. Featuring a reconstructed game design that is both sleek and intuitive due to the innovative battle mechanics, crafted by digging even deeper into the complex mechanics of the prior games. Fifteen characters join the initial roster and take control of unique and interesting uh, characters out, as you experience the joy of battle. All kinds of players can enjoy the game oh, no. in their own way. Players who want to enjoy oh, the in-depth no. single-player content. System. Players who want to improve their skills and play against others. Players who want to take in the Guilty Gear world and story. Let's take a look at the modes that best suit the needs of each player. Here are the modes for the players who want to enjoy the in-depth single-player content. Tutorial mode. You can enjoy the back and forth between the characters while playing in situations you'll see in real matches. Okay. Arcade mode. Follow the fully voiced story as you fight AI opponents. You might even get an ally to fight at your side. Combine oh. your powers to take down even the toughest you boss. Got, like, assist character? Assist uh, Survival characters? mode. Fight one AI opponent after another. Defeat powerful opponents with unique abilities and make your way to the top of the online ranking. Mission mode. Mission mode. You can practice everything from basic fighting game techniques to GGST's unique mechanics to combos. Level up your play to accomplish your personal goals. Versus mode. Play to your heart's content against the AI or a friend. Next, let's look at some modes for players who want to enjoy the heat of oh, battle. In this lobby system, eh? Training mode. There are settings to recreate situations found in real matches, in addition to the usual combo practice. You can I use like this as a tool to up That's your sick. game and achieve your goals. Online mode. You can enjoy smooth matches with players all over the world, smooth thanks to the optimized netcode. There's even crossplay between the PlayStation 4 and PlayStation 5 versions. Huh. Online okay. lobby. So only crossplay. Control an avatar, to play lobby. matches, and interact with other players from all over the world in the online lobby. Customize your avatar with a selection of over 300 items and colors. Does that make it work? Well, the new rating system accurately adjusts for the player's skill level, meaning every player can enjoy fighting someone close to their level. You can also wait for a match while in training mode instead of searching for an opponent on oh, your own. So you're not going to be in the lobby There's even an option That's to wait for a match directly from the main menu. Great for those times when you just want to get right into a match. Player match. Relax and enjoy matches in a room for you and your friends. Replay theater. Watch your own replays as well as those of players from all over the world. You can search by a character or the player's skill level too. Use it to refine your own play. Last but not least, here's what we have to offer for fans of the Guilty Gear world and story. Story mode. Story. The lengthy story unfolds through stunning graphical presentation with no need to play matches. The stage is set in the USA. Our hero, Soul Bad Guy, has led an unbelievable I mean, life. it looks great. What will his final choice be? 
to get you even deeper into the story, the GG World Mode includes a chronology of the series story, a glossary where you can look up terms related to the game, and a correlation map of the relationships between the characters. Get an even oh, closer like look at the world story. of Guilty Gear. All the games. Gallery cool. Mode. Enjoy the beautiful art, design materials, oh, movies, cool. and music from the game. There's a lot to enjoy from not only GGST, but even previous games. The game as it is can be enjoyed in all these ways, but release day is far from the end. We plan to update the game long term after release, so you can enjoy GGST for a long time. The all new latest entry to the series, Night to Guilty the Gear Strive, coming Steve April 9th, 2021. Early purchase bonuses. Oh, and season pass already. Uh, deluxe edition you get to early access April the 6th. Guilty Gear. Interesting. Uh, I find this stuff interesting. Uh, that we're now in a day and age where you know a season pass gets announced before the game even comes out so they're letting us know that we're already going to expect five additional playable characters two new battle stages uh an additional color pack for all the 20 characters so that'll be the the 15 base characters and the five extras and some bonus story content this is just obviously acceptable now that we can see a season pass most games do it now um release I'm sure they said they was going to release a beta prior to the full release of the game. Uh, the alpha obviously already came out. I got a chance to play that. It was great. The lobby system I was not fussed about, I have to say. Uh, and it looks like that's back. They're really trying to plug it by the looks of it. Um, it says in the notes on the website that actually the rollback netcode is implemented. Um, which they said they was going to do that wasn't available in the alpha either so it, it would be good to try and play a beta of it before we do purchase the full game just to see how good that netcode holds up fingers crossed it will be as good as what they say it is it's sounding pretty good with the use words such as smooth uh, and obviously on like i said on the internet page it does say that it is rollback netcode which is happy days for everyone really uh, it does also say that you should have no problem facing anyone from any place around the world so we'll see how that pans out the only thing i would say on this i'm a little bit disappointed um cross play playstation 4 and playstation 5 well that's the same system really to me obviously it's just an, uh, the different generations of consoles it would have been nice if they'd have done the cross play with pc so it was available across the playstation systems and pc whether they'll try and implement that at a later date, I don't know. But why they wouldn't just put it in the first place if they are going to do that is a bit of a mystery to me. I don't know how much work is involved in doing something like that, but it would seem that it, you know, that, that it's something they could do. Look, the game looks great. It's so it's one of the games I'm really looking forward to. The gameplay wise, it, it was fantastic when I played the alpha. I really loved it. Having not having much Guilty Gear experience in the past, I must say it's not one of the biggest. It's not one of the franchises what I've most invested my time into. Uh, lobby system. Mm, one thing, it's a pretty safe trailer. I will say that because really all the game modes are what you would expect in a standard fighting game now. Tutorials. Uh, story mode, mission mode. It's it's a pretty safe trailer, uh, pretty safe game modes. There's nothing really out in there. What makes me think, oh, they've done something a little different. I would like to see the uh, assist side of the characters a little bit more, or whether there is going to be some sort of tag system. Now, I was hoping because we had seen that before, where another character jumps in, there was going to be some sort of tag system in the game, or a different game mode with it. And it doesn't look like that at the minute, but. Who knows what they might do in the future. Uh, but I would really like to see more of the assist play and how that pans out. Uh, but yeah, I mean, it's looking great. We're finally going to get a release date after it should have come out last year. It looks like they've put a lot of work into changing some of the things what the fans weren't happy about. 
on the uh, in the post because you did get to put your comments after the alpha any changes and it does look like they're trying to address a lot of those things which is great it means that they're listening to to, to what we want so for more guilty gear strive guys hit the subscribe button and the notification bell to let you know when all videos go live there's going to be a lot more of it on the channel it's a game i absolutely loved playing but i'll see you in the next video guys peace out